How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to transfer your entire music library from any streaming service to another. So let's say you use Spotify to listen to your music, but you want to actually migrate to Apple Music. How can you actually transfer all your music, so all your songs, albums, playlists and everything like that from Spotify? to Apple Music, but please keep in mind that this method works for any streaming service that you want. So maybe you use Spotify and you want to transfer to Amazon Music or the other way around from YouTube Music to Spotify or Apple Music to Spotify. So any possibility that you want. So in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly that. The process is extremely easy and free and I'm going to teach you step by step. So let's get started. All right, the first thing you need to do is actually open up the App Store because we're going to need to download an app. So go to the search tab and then search for song shift. And of course, I'm going to have everything on the screen and direct link in the description as well. This app right here will offer in-app purchases, but for what we want for transferring our entire library from one streaming service to another, we can do it for free. I don't have a subscription to SongShift and I'm going to do it for free with you. Okay, so go ahead and download it. Let it load. It's a simple app, tiny app. It's not going to take long. All right, so we're done. As you can see, that song shift right here. You can go ahead and open it up straight ahead. And as you can see right here, take a look at the available services. So as you can see, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Deezer, a ton of services that maybe you haven't even heard of. I haven't seen some of those. Uh, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube Music. So as you can see, absolutely everything. And as you can see, for the main services, so all of those, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, so Amazon, uh, Deezer, Apple Music, it's all source and destination, meaning that you can either use those services as the source of your songs, or if you actually want to use those to receive the songs, so source or destination, so great. So you can go backwards and forwards between all of them pretty much. So um, as I said, I'm going to use Spotify and Apple Music in this video as an example. So I'm going to transfer from Spotify to Apple Music. So what I want to do is actually connect those services. So first, I'm going to tap on Spotify because I'm going to connect Spotify. And as you can see, it's going to transfer and ask if it can open. So you can tap on open. And then as easy as that, it's already going to connect here. Super easy. If you see any other screens asking for permission or allow or anything like that, you can permit. OK, uh, and then Apple Music. This is going to be my destination for this video. Right. So tap here on Apple Music, continue and OK. And as you can see, it's going to establish a session and we're good to go. So Spotify and Apple Music, as you can see, it's asking for the pro version, but we're not going to use it. As I said, it's all free. So after connecting both uh, your source and destination, you can go ahead and tap on continue right here and get started. And then you can dismiss this option. Uh, tap here just to make it go away. Then all you have to do is tap on the plus button right there and then it's already selecting both right here. And since I want to use Spotify as my source, I'm going to go for Spotify first. So I'm going to go ahead here and choose and you have a few options. You can either tap on song and then it's going to get all your songs or playlist. So if you use playlists, maybe use one playlist with everything or a few, you can tap playlist or you can choose album. So it's up to you to see what you want to pick, how you want to pick your songs via album, playlist or song. Since I don't really use playlists, I prefer to get all my information from my album. So as I tap here on albums, it's actually going to load all of the albums I have in my Spotify library. I know it's just three and that's because I don't use Spotify. I use Apple Music. I'm doing this as, as an example. OK, so as you can see here, those are all my albums. If I go ahead here and open up Spotify and go to my library, as you can see, and if I go to albums, as you can see, those are the albums that I have. I just have three. OK, so it picked up everything. And then I can come back here to song shift and then I can tap on full library transfer. So transfer all my albums. That's what I want. So tap here and then confirm. So then it picked up my albums from Spotify, everything that I want. Now I'm going to tap on Apple Music. That's going to be my destination, right? And then as you can see, the way this works is it's going to get all your albums, songs, playlists, whatever, as you just saw, and it's going to actually create one playlist with everything, with all your data, all your files, all your music right here in the destination, in this case, in Apple Music. 
okay? Uh, it's gonna be by default called Untitled Playlist, but let's change that name, right? So let me tap on Rename Destination Playlist, and I'm gonna go for YouTube DAT, then about tag, all right? So done, that's what the playlist will be called in Apple Music, and then start shifts. Let it do its thing, it's processing as you can see. It'll take a few seconds and depending on how many songs you have, it'll take a little bit more. It's done now, so I can tap here, so I can review my information. Everything is set, everything is successful, great, so everything is here. And then I can go ahead and confirm matches. So it's confirming matches, it's doing its thing, it's transferring now my three albums, and then it's done. So then I can tap here and continue, and then it's complete, successful, everything is great. Please keep in mind that sometimes uh, some of your albums or playlists or songs uh, will not be 100% compatible because some content is exclusive to Spotify or exclusive to Apple Music or one or another. So sometimes depending on the, the amount of data and the songs you have, some things here may not be 100% compatible. Just keep that in mind, but there's nothing you can do, right? It's a limitation of the streaming service. So sometimes it's exclusive content, you know what I mean, right? So. We're done right here, so now I can exit Song Shift, I can open up my Apple Music, I can go to my playlist, remember, we created a playlist, and I can scroll down until I find, and I have quite a few right here, YouTube, then about tech, right there. So as we tap on it, that's it, updated today, playlist transferred with song shift so it's all here it's perfect that's the one so we have here my three albums so one two and three and it's all here and from here on of course i can manage my songs i can go ahead and add to my actual apple music library or to any of my own uh playlist create manage do whatever i want okay but that's it that's literally it that's how you actually transfer all your music all your library from any streaming service to another for free. So, hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one as usual guys, bye bye!